This tutorial covers creating product attributes in the WooCommerce e-commerce system for WordPress. To begin with, let's navigate to the WooCommerce tab on the left-hand side of the menu. Directly below, you're going to see Products. In the menu that pops out, you're going to see a tab at the very bottom called Attributes. First of all, let's select this. Now, to briefly explain attributes, Attributes give you the option to define product data, such as size or color. This gives your customers the option to customize a product before they purchase it. So if they want to order a t-shirt, but they want it in blue, and you have a blue t-shirt in stock, it provides a drop-down menu that they can, they can click on, and they can select blue t-shirt. Or if they want to order that blue t-shirt in small, they can select another field that allows them to customize the size. We've already configured a few attributes on the right over here, so you can see how they'll display. At the bottom here, we have size. The type is select, meaning it gives the customers an option to select a size. And under terms, we have the sizes that are available. Same goes with brands. We want to give the customers an option to choose a brand. The brands we've configured are Tom Tommy Hilfiger, Nivea, Jaguar, Chloe, and Calvin Klein. For color, they have the option to choose yellow, white, violet, red, orange, indigo, green, blue, or black. To give you a more in-depth look about how this works, let's configure a new attribute and some choices for the customer. Let's say that we're selling iPods on our shop, and they come in multiple hardware si hard drive sizes. So we're going to call the name hard drive size, meaning we're going to give customers a choice of hard drive size. Now slug is uh, it's an important field. This is how the browser displays this attribute. Go ahead and name it something similar to the name up here. So we're just going to call it hard drive size. The slug can't contain any special characters except for dashes. Now, under Type at the bottom, you have the option of Select or Text. Select provides a drop-down menu, like this one right here. This is generally the easiest for customers to use. If the option is Text, you're going to see multiple rows of text. So, for instance, for size, customers can click on a link that says Extra Large, click on a link that says Small, click on a link that says Medium, and another one that says Large. This can be time-consuming for customers to scroll through, especially when viewing your page on a mobile web browser. So let's go ahead and leave this at Select. When you're done, click Add Attribute. On the right-hand side, we can see that our hard drive size has been added. But there are no terms, meaning there are no options. There are no hard drive sizes for customers to select. So on the far right, we're going to select Configure Terms. This is where we enter the different sizes that the hard drives are available in. Under the heading here where it says add new hard drive size, we're going to enter the label that the customers are going to see for the first hard drive size. If the first option is 32 gigabytes, we're going to type that in here. The slug is just like it was when you were creating the first option. I'm going to name it 32-GB. Parent is best left blank. Description doesn't need to be filled out. Select Add New Hard Drive Size, and our attribute has been configured. If we're also selling a hard drive in 64 gigabytes, I'll create that option here. On the left-hand side, I'm going to select Attributes again so I can see what I've created. In the first step, we created the attribute itself, the hard drive size. This is what customers are going to see. The type is select, meaning it's going to provide a drop-down box for them to choose from. And under terms, they can select a hard drive that's 64 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes. In another tutorial, we'll cover adding these attributes to the actual products themselves.